Welcome to St Gabriel's Worship at Home for this week. It's great to welcome you wherever you are, across the globe, across the community and across Kings Hill. If you enjoy worshipping with us, don't forget to share with your friends, like or comment. And if you are joining us on Sunday morning as we premiere it, join in with the conversation. It's our second ever online family worship, all age worship together. And it's great to ha welcome Kirsty back with us. Anything can go, Mark. Anything can happen. We do <laughs> not know what is gonna go on yet. This is completely unscripted. Uh, there'll be some familiar bits. We'll have the Bible reading, we'll have some prayers and we will just see how it goes. So- uh, Do you know we've got a birthday? A birthday? Have we got a birthday? We've got a birthday and I'm so excited. Do you know excited, that? You're excited, really? <laughs> well, I've got a birthday banner here. Wow. I've got a birthday banner and you've always got to have an invitation, don't you? Because you've got to know whose birthday it is. I was going to say, whose birthday is it? I, we've, there's not any in our household, so I don't know whose Ooh. birthday it is this week. And you know how good I am at baking cakes. My family know I am the expert here. And I've bought the baking now. It is service so I thought I'd best get the word Bible in there so we have got good old Mary Berries our best baking Bible and my favorite cake is the cappuccino cake so I'm gonna make the cappuccino cake oh, fantastic but whose birthday is it because there's none in our household first of all you know I've forgotten what have you forgotten I haven't bought any candles for my cake okay so why don't we if you haven't got any candles for the cake you haven't got the cake either but no, let's but I'm gonna make ignore that you're gonna make the cake i've got a candle here this is the candle that we light every sunday oh, as we start worship so should we light this one that'd, as be, good. That? that'd okay. be good that'd be good so uh, we recognize that we're going to spend some time with god now and dedicate these few moments to god and as we do that we're going to light this candle and then just pray a special prayer together so i'm going to light this uh candle here and hopefully I'm not going to burn myself on it as it's a little bit close this week. Uh, but let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts of your faithful people as we come to worship now. Kindle in us the fire of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Do you want to know? Let's know whose birthday it is now. It's the church's birthday. The church's birthday, really? Yeah. Of course, that's because it's... Pentecost? It's Pentecost. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's Pentecost and it's that special Sunday where we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit and uh, the what is known as the birth day of the church um, worldwide and it is a special day because it is that moment where we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit where the gospel was proclaimed across the globe uh, from that one moment. Do you think we should find out about it? We'll find out about it in a little bit but before we do that we are going to sing and join in with a song. We love the Worship for Everyone um, service that happens every uh, week. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what's happening? <laughs> We've got a little visitor who's come into the kitchen and she wants some food because she's, she's heard the word cake. <laughs> and uh, she's raiding the cupboard and she knows that she shouldn't be raiding the cupboard at this time. Um, and she's Off raiding the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we should sing that song. <laughs> I think we should be singing the song and uh, we love in our family worship for everyone which is uh, the Drake, uh, Nick and Becky Drake who are uh, songs and musicians and worship leaders and they have been broadcasting a, a live family worship every week on a Wednesday and a Saturday at four o'clock, uh, which we think you should look at and join in. They are composers of songs that we sing like Big Family of God and Worship on a Hill. And this morning we're gonna sing All Through History, which is a, a song that talks about what God has done all through history. There'll be some actions as well as the song. So let's sing. <laughs> i 
What a fantastic song and we're going to keep singing that song when we actually move back into our church building. It is. When uh, we start worshipping together it will be another one of those songs uh, that we'll be introducing. So having uh, sung, um, having uh, introduced the theme of Pentecost, uh, we think we should probably find out a little mm. bit more about what Pentecost actually is. It's going to be in a different way this week, in a very different way. So let's watch carefully and let's listen. This story takes place after Jesus had died and God made him alive again. He visited his friends lots of times sometimes in a locked room, sometimes on a road, sometimes on a beach. Forty days after he had come back to life, he took his disciples to the Mount of Olives. He explained that they must stay in Jerusalem 
and his father would send them a special gift. Jesus then went up into the cloud and back to heaven. So the disciples went back to Jerusalem, wondering what would happen next. Wondering how they would carry on without Jesus. Wondering what his special gift was. They gathered together in a room with Jesus' other friends and waited. Ten days later, Jerusalem was filled with people from all over the world who'd come to celebrate the special festival of Pentecost. Jesus and his friends were all together in a room when they heard the sound of rushing wind and what looked like flames of fire came on each person's head. Each one of Jesus' friends was filled with the Holy Spirit, the special gift Jesus had promised them. All of a sudden, they weren't afraid anymore. They had to go out and tell everyone what had happened. They spoke to the people all about the things that Jesus had said and done and how much God loved them. And the amazing thing was that everyone, no matter where they came from, what language they spoke, everyone understood what Jesus' friends were saying. The people asked what they should do and Peter explained how God wanted them to turn back to him to be baptised and filled with the Holy Spirit too. This special gift is for anyone who accepts God's forgiveness. I wonder which bit of the story is the most important for you. I wonder why there was the sound of rushing wind and flames of fire. I wonder what it felt like to receive the Holy Spirit. I wonder what Jesus' friends did next. Wow, that was a great uh, version of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, we're going to um, affirm the faith we have. That faith that was preached by Peter on that very first day of Jesus. So uh, together we are going to say, though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human kindness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God raised him on high that and given him the name above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. So in our Bible reading, we heard about the coming of the Holy Spirit uh, for that very first time. And I don't know if you can think of any experiences that you have had that you will never forget. The coming of the Holy Spirit was like that. It was one of those experiences that the disciples uh, would never forget. Those who heard the Bible and heard Peter preach in their own language would never forget. And we're living through a time mm. in COVID-19 and this coronavirus outbreak, a moment that we will never forget. Something that will go down in history as a time of change for our planet, for ourselves and for our communities. But I don't know if you know that that moment of that first Pentecost was a time when the church began because from that moment people took the word of Jesus, of what they heard across the globe. And it's got me thinking, are we in another moment of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit now? Because you see, 
we have gone from gathering into just one building, one temple or one place, to worshipping in homes across the globe. There are statistics that show that more people are accessing Christian worship than they have done ever before because they're being able to access it in their homes and in that moment. Is this a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit? Is this a new Pentecost that we are experiencing now? Are we having a movement of God? Could this be a new normal for us as churches, that we don't just gather together in one place, but we gather together on a weekly basis across our homes, that some of us go to the temple to worship and pray as uh, the first disciples do. If you read um, a little bit longer in that book of Acts, you read how um, the disciples were full of awe and full of the spirit and they came together to worship in the temple. They shared the possessions of what they had and God added to their numbers. That part of Acts is what our church's mission statement is based upon, that we come together as community to worship weekly, to pray daily, and then to share in the community where we are, the things that we have. And that's why we have a food bank at the moment that we're supporting those across our community why we're praying and why we are continuing to worship together. Is this a moment? Could this be a new moment of the Holy Spirit? We don't know if it is, but we will be praying for that coming Spirit to come, that moment of Christ to come. And we're going to spend some time in prayer in a moment. And we've got a, a challenge uh, for you. Uh, you might be able to see it, but we'll get to that in a moment. But before we do that, to still our hearts and move us into a moment of prayer, we're going to sing again and we're going to sing, um, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place, in this time and in our households now. So let us sing and pray together. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory god is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence lord
Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what I want to long for To be overcome by your presence, Lord Your presence, Lord Let us become So Holy Spirit, you are welcome in our hearts and in our lives. And we pray that you will uh, outpour across the communities through these times of worship and through these acts of worship. But we're going to spend some time in prayer. um, And uh, Kirsty's introduced uh, how we're going to do that. Right. You'll find on our web that there is a template of um, a dove for you. If you want to cut the dove out and then what you want to do is I want you to colour your dove in orange and yellow and red and this is to symbolise the colours of the flames which came out of the disciples um, head. Then I want you to write a little prayer on your dove and it might be the name of a country, it might just be COVID-19, it might be a name of somebody who's uh, unwell at the moment. Now I've written reception years, because I go back to work full time on Monday and I'm working with those children who are four and five. So I want to pray for the staff I work with and for all those children. And I'm gonna stick this in my window so we can remember Pentecost and then Mark and, I, Mark and Bella and I can remember every day when they're sat having their breakfast and they're doing their home learning, which I'm looking forward to seeing, and they can think of me when we're doing that. And we can be praying for um, the people as a daily reminder. And this is uh, not just something for us uh, to do because you can see the flames are like that, but it's also a dove because the Holy Spirit is uh, talked about as a dove uh, and like a dove, especially at Jesus' baptism. But the diocese are also, the diocese of Rocha have a challenge to um, put your doves on the windows um, and take pictures and send them in. And we would love to see your doves um, in your windows so please uh, tweet or Facebook or email a picture of your coloured in doves and you don't just have to do one Mm -hmm. Uh, you can print this template out many times and litter your windows uh, with those doves so we ask in this time and this moment of prayer that you will be with those children those teachers and those staff members who are going back this week full time or in whatever ways. We pray for the worries and concerns that they may have and as parents they may have. We also pray for those who are shielding still at this moment, who yearn to be with their families again. And we pray for the governments across the world as they guide and lead us in these times. And we also take a moment to pray for ourselves and ask Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, come and transform our lives and change us and help us to speak about Jesus to those around us at this time. And as we conclude our time of prayer, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. So we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So having heard from the Bible, having prayed, having reflected, uh, we're coming to the end of our worship. Uh, please join us next week. We've got a special guest next week. We have got a very special guest. We've got Bishop Simon, who is the Bishop of Tunbridge, who's going to um, preach next week, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be reflecting on our uh, Bible reading and it's Trinity Sunday next week and uh, he'll be reflecting on that. Um, and don't forget to check out our website um, on our website you can uh, find out all about the life of St Gabriel's including our children's work you can access that throughout the week it doesn't have to be necessarily be on a Sunday check that out there's some really cool stuff which is going on on there as well yeah uh, every week for the past three or four weeks yeah. we've been recording that bible verse uh, bible video and some activities, activities. Um, and we set a challenge last week uh, as a baking challenge as well we had two entries didn't we we've had two entries so far we had bread bread was made as a rising challenge and we had a delicious chocolate with salted caramel cake uh, which is uh, gone down very well at the vicarage and um, I have to say that that challenge is gone wider into the congregation so we want to see your bakes and things like that so as we come to a close just a couple of prayers as we wait in silence make, make us, us ready, ready for your coming spirit. spirit as we listen to your word make us ready for your coming spirit as we worship you in majesty. Make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshment. Make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing. Make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your empowering. In a moment, we're going to finish with the Makaton version of the UK blessing. But uh, before we do that, a blessing upon you and your households. So the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and your households now and forever. Amen. Amen. So as we finish, the blessing uh, in signed in Makaton. Hiya, my name's Becky George. Welcome to our Makaton UK blessing.
Children and their children and their children.